Hello everybody and welcome to GeoGuessr with Strange Lands. We have Al Zarath here. Did Al leave? Apparently we have <laughs> We don't have Al Zarath here. We have Pasta though. Greetings. We have Tolkis. Rejoice. And is Al Zarath back? Yes, I am back. There he is. I got kicked for a second. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks to my ISP. Alrighty. Do we want to redo that intro? Nah, we're good with it. Awesome. Yeah. We'll stick with it. <laughs> All right, so we got a custom challenge here from uh, geosetter.com. If you guys would like to make one, go to geosetter.com and come up with something creative. We've done islands plenty of times, but uh, pick some favorite locations, whatever. We'd like to see how you did. Today's um, challenge was made by Mr. Filmmaker 08. Thank you very much for submitting, sir. I think he submitted quite a long time ago, and we're finally getting through all the challenges. But, anyways. If you guys like to play along, this would be in the description. Share your scores, all that jazz. And is everybody ready? I'm ready. Ready. Affirmative. This is on the retro style GeoGuessr, so please set a uh, timer of two minutes per round because that's what we're setting the timer for ourselves. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. We are in Russia because of that there and the name down here is in Cyrillic. The question is, where in Russia? We are in some kind of shopping mall, so it's in a, a decent sized city. Let's get a, a tentative guess in Moscow because I don't know any other, um, that's the most likely place. Although this doesn't look like a built up city out there though, does it? What kind of place is this anyways? Is this just a shopping mall? This feels like a shopping mall. I'm going to go away from Moscow and go with a larger city. Well, you know what? You know what we have to guess. We have to guess Kazan. I don't know if Kazan would have something like this in it. Let's take a look. Look at right here. What's this? Let's guess right there. That could be a, a, a large building right there. Or this thing right here. we got a minute left. Um, land shaft Naya. There we go. Lots of really long buildings in here. Old barn. So we're going to go with Kazan until we can find something otherwise, which I don't think I'm going to do. Bank RBK. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's Moscow. It's got to be a smaller city, but big enough to have a shopping mall like this. So screw it. We're going with Kazan. Time's up. Make your guess. Hey, we had a Estonia before, remember? Yeah, That's we cool. did. Oh, I didn't think it was the airport, but the train station. See, I wasn't you sure. Got the right place. I wasn't sure it was <laughs> either. I thought it was a mall. Nope. Uh, it had to be either a train station or a uh, airport because of the uh, what you call them, where you see all the time of departures and arrivals. Oh, I didn't catch that. I guess yeah, the signage. They, they looked uh, somewhat. LED-ish, and that is more common with train stations, so I picked the train station. At Estania? Indeed. Oh, wow! How did you know it was Estania? Um, well, you go in first, and then uh, we can get to mine. Yeah, I, I just, I guessed, um, in, what the hell is it? Oh my gosh, Kazan, and got 2032, how'd you do well? I guessed Moscow and got 1906, because last I was Cyrillic. <laughs> yeah, and I, I shied away from Moscow, because when you looked outside, there was a lot of Foliage. It just didn't look like a big city to me. And that's why I went with Kazan over Moscow. But of course, obviously, I was full of shit. So how'd you do, Pasta? Um, so my first guess was St. Petersburg. Because um, I think, well, we haven't had a St. Petersburg guess uh, very often. And somebody had to go for it. But then, um, I think 20 seconds before it was time, I found on one of the advertisements a .kz um, domain. Uh, and then I just picked 
Astania and uh, try, uh, tried to find the railway station. Uh, I did find it, but uh, yeah, it was the airport. <laughs> that's, I got 5,177 points. That's still pretty damn impressive. Mm-hmm. Talkus, how'd you do? Kazan for a 2 0 3 3. Well, there you go. One point <laughs> more than I did. All right, we got a, we got a knock uh, past the office awesome. thrown. You guys ready for round two? Yes. Yes. Affirmative. Three, two, one, go. Let's get that timer started. And um, I feel this is a place we've already been. Where the hell is this? Holy cow! This is in a cave. We have a lot of Christian art up and about. I can't move anywhere. Huh. The name on this is M. Atef. <laughs> Look at the valves in the ceiling. That's fantastic. They're very electricity conscious. Saving on that bill. Well done. All right, so made in China. So this has got to have some kind of religious significance. Like this thing right here. I don't know what that is, but it's got to have some kind of religious significance. All this art does. So I am thinking that perhaps this is somewhere in in um in Europe or in perhaps Israel. I don't know. God, I don't know. We got 30 seconds left. I would say it's something we would most likely find in the Middle East and not Europe. I don't know, man. Middle East is as good as this as any, I think. Because it's in these rocks, that's why I'm guessing the Middle East versus Europe. But I could be completely full of it. We'll see. Time's up. Make a guess. Ha. All right. So I don't know what the significance is of this particular location. Let's zoom in here. It is a monastery of Virgin Mary. I see. Or of Mount Asiud. All right. So I guessed... Um, I was thinking it was either Europe or Middle East, and I guessed in Israel, um, near Jerusalem, and I got twenty three thirty seven. How'd you do, Al? I actually guessed up in Greece because I I had the Eastern European slash um, uh, Western Middle Eastern vibe coming from it as well. I didn't think too much about Europe. I mean, not Europe, um, Egypt. <laughs> Um, I thought maybe it's along the Nile, but it didn't really make much sense to me because there was the the stones were water eroded a bit as well. So, uh, yeah, I got 2070. And pasta. I did pretty much the same as you, Fix, and I have exactly the same amount of points as well. Holy cow, so you pretty much dropped it like right at Jerusalem then, eh? Uh, yeah, right at Jerusalem. Uh, let me... Somewhere near between Kofsha Kataman Street and Kaftet B November Street? Near the tram sign or bus sign. Um <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can't pronounce it. Yep, same amount of points. Tarkus. Well, the name looked Middle Eastern, the name of the person who took it. And I was sort of getting more of a I don't know, you know, sort of Eastern Orthodoxy, I mean, obviously this is actually, like, Coptic, but, um, like, Western Europe, I don't know, like, they, they're, they're, I don't know. I thought that, like, the, I thought it looked a bit like Spain, like, maybe, I don't know, I just, I went with Madrid and got 1716. There we go. Round three, is everybody ready? Yes. Ready. Oh, I'm not, I gotta get my timer ready. There we go. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. All right, so. Uh, wasn't too bad, I guess. 
uh, Repressiones de Baracas, Metallurgica in general, SRL, look at that telephone number, FB, Servicios Industriales, uh, there is a, that's Russian, isn't it? That's a Russian flag? Is Russia, it's red, white, blue? Not blue, white, red, is it? Shit, I don't remember. So we got some kind of shipping channel here. This is this is Latin America. I don't think that's the Panama Canal, but it's 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 some kind of shipping channel. Got a minute left. Campo Limpio. What does that say up there? Urban Urbanus Urbanus. La Rivera. Julio Obando is the photographer. So a lot of this is pointing towards Latin America or perhaps Southern America. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what FB stands for. seconds. Oh, uh, yeah, look at all those ships over there. Definitely something like this here, coming into here. Venezuela. This is not the Panama Canal. I don't know, man. I mean, this could be Mexico. For all I know. Time's up. Make a guess. And have we had one in this area before? I'm not so sure. I don't think we had one in Paraguay before. I think we had one, like, really close to the border over here, haven't we? Uh, yeah, I think it was one in Bolivia in that national park or something. Yeah, that's right. All right, so um, there was Spanish, or I, I couldn't tell if it was Portuguese. I didn't think it was Portuguese, but it was definitely um, either that or Spanish. And I, I couldn't really find anything to tell me whether I should guess in South America or Central America. And it was obviously a shipping channel. So I went up at Venezuela by um, by that, that, that lake that's in there. I don't know. I figured it was a shipping channel. 1594. How'd you do, Al? I did horribly because, yeah, I saw a flag. <laughs> it was a Russian flag, wasn't it? Uh, it was a Dutch flag. Uh, was it really? Yep. Red, that, red, white, and blue. Uh, red, white, blue is the Dutch flag, and the Russian it's also flag the Paraguay is... flag. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I just googled it just to make sure. I for some oh. reason I knew red, white, and blue was French. I was like, wait, is there a French place that speaks Spanish? I'm like, what the hell? This doesn't make any sense. I but thought French the Paraguay is sideways. <laughs> I thought the Paraguay flag was some weird with uh, blue and white. No, it, it is red on top of white on top of blue, and there's a small symbol on it. Um, oh, there was no symbol on that flag. Yeah, I didn't see a symbol either. Because the Dutch flag is the same, but without any symbols. Let's see. There we go. It is... Yeah, it's a very tiny symbol in the middle of it. But yeah, uh, I only got okay. 545 points because I was totally confused. And for some reason, my brain completely farted and I thought it was the French flag. <laughs> Which oh, well. is that, but sideways. So yeah, I guess between Spain and France, it got 545. And you notice to the south of the of the spot is Limpio. And there was that bus that said Campo Limpio on it. I actually guessed Andorra. <laughs> If you go up by France, <laughs> just because I was like, so confused, it's just like what the hell. So we we actually had our clues right in front of our faces. We just didn't yes. pull it off. We had good, but clues. we had we to know stupid. that Limpio is a place in Paraguay yeah. or is a place at all. Um, if we well, the the flag may have helped. If we knew the flag was Paraguay, then we may have been able to zoom in to see Limpio. Um, yep. The Talkus, did you uh, did you save us from this wreckage? So the bus. Uh, the bus was like for something, like Camp Olympio. And then after the Camp Olympio, there was a certain abbreviation, um, an S followed by an A. Now there's a certain place that has the name of an S followed by an A and looks deserty 
like that place. The Tulks were in South Africa and got eight seven six. Oh. <laughs> I, that wasn't very deserty. I don't know. Isn't well, South Africa yeah. Z A as far no, as it's, that's Zimbabwe. Uh oh, Zimbabwe. Yeah. Okay. There, there's an ass followed by an A. Why why would Paraguay put an ass followed by an A? This I think is... that had something to do with the style the uh, of the company, the S A or S R L on the other cars that has to do with how the company is legally um, composed or something. Well, legally. Well, according to Paraguay law, I guess you're right. <laughs> All right. I have no idea. Let's find out where this camel is at. You guys ready for the next round? Yes. Ready. Affirmative. Three, two, one, go. All right, so we got a camel staring us in the face. We have um, Mazen Harby as a photographer. We have these gentlemen in a a truck. A Toyota, I think. Toyota. All right. I have the hiccups, guys. I'm sorry. So, let's look where the sun is. Where the hell is the sun? There we go. All right, so the sun is to the south. So this is northern Africa, which pretty much should tell us it should have been obvious, but uh, where are we going to guess in northern Africa? Where would he put it? I, I he already had one in Egypt, so I want to go over to the west. What would be significant over here to, to guess? There are some mountains, so there's that. So we could go by by Morocco, Tunisia. I know Tunisia has a pretty strong Star Wars connection because a lot of Star Wars was filmed in Tunisia. Um, so let's put our guess over there then. Because there's mountains over there and there's... I'm not sure I would call these mountains, but they're but they're not flat... It's not flat terrain, you know, and it's not rolling dunes or anything like that. So I could see that being some of the northwest by Morocco or Tunisia. Um... Does Tunisia have those mountains, or was I just out of control? I may have been out of control. 19 seconds. All right, let's go to Morocco then. And where do we want to go in Morocco? We can go on the border of Algeria. Shit. Let's do it. Good enough for me. We're going by Morocco. Time's up. Make a guess. And I was wrong. I was not horribly wrong. I was somewhat wrong. Sun was to the south. Um, we have desert. We have camels. We have mountainous areas in the distance, which ruled out a decent amount of African desert. The problem was I never really had Saudi Arabia cross my mind. I went with by uh, Algeria and Morocco and got 1543 Hajj Duel. Well, the Egyptian area is a bit more sandy than that. That was very rocky desert. That's one reason why I didn't choose Northern Africa. Um, I ended up guessing in Kuwait and got 2285 just because I couldn't decide where it was going to be. And it was a photosphere, so it could honestly be anywhere. It doesn't have to be Google mapped. So, yeah, Kuwait and got 2285. Pasta. I guessed uh, um, in Oman near the border to Saudi Arabia and got 2,061 points. Tarkis. I... We I didn't know where this could be, but because we had a previous location be in Egypt, I figured that maybe this dude made the challenge is like big on like the Egypt, so he knows all about the Egypt. So I uh, I went with uh, Egypt. I went near Sinai because I figured Sinai is sort of rocky or whatever. So you know Sinai Peninsula thingy, um, and I got two one seven five. Alrighty, we got one more to go. You guys ready? Yes. Ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh boy. I failed. I failed. All right, so we are in some sort of classroom. It says Quinny Monitella Science Area. Okay. Social Studies Area. Mathematics, vocabulary. So this is somewhere most likely in Africa. 
But where in Africa is going to be the trick? Um... Let's get a guest down in Tanzania and let's see what we can find here. The the photographer is Jared Buswell look inside Tulsa. Now I I, I don't know for sure, but I don't think we're in Tulsa. Oh shit. For God in my country. So this is probably a clue as to where we're, we are at. And I don't know what these symbols mean. I'm sure that is staring me in the face. And I don't know what it is. I'm changing my guess to the Congo, though. I don't know, man. Bujima University. Dot AC dot UG. AC dot UG. I don't know, man. Not Angola. Somalia. AC. Why can't I? I don't know. AC dot UG. It's not coming to me. Time's up. Make a guess. Oh, that's close. I was close. Well, I couldn't figure out <laughs> yep. what the AC meant, and obviously it's Uganda. Okay, so obviously um, we're in Africa. There was a lot of English up on the school boards and whatnot, and I couldn't find anything to really pinpoint where I was. I did see some kind of um, country, um, like an emblem, and I, I didn't know what it was. I found a domain name that was ACGU. Or was it GU or UG? I don't know. I didn't put two and two together about Uganda. I guessed in the Congo, though, and got 2023. How'd you do, Al? I guessed in Kenya and got 2263. It seemed very equatorial in uh, the foliage and just the place in general, because South Africa doesn't look like that. North Africa is too much desert, so it had to be in that middle section. And I have seen, I have seen a photograph from that photosphere before. Um, the classroom where we started, if you angle it just right, it's actually in a magazine that I've read. So Was it I a magazine about Tulsa? No, but it was in Oklahoma that I read it. So well, look at the probably... bottom right. Yeah, I know. It says, look inside Tulsa. Yeah. It was probably someone who traveled there from Tulsa to help with the schools. Yeah. But I've read about it before. I've seen that picture before. It's just, yeah, I couldn't remember where it was. So I put Kenya 2263. And pasta. Uh, in one of the classrooms, I found a map the children apparently made with the main ports of uh, the country. Um, the ports were all to the south and to the side. So in the last minute, I um, I put it down in Kenya, but uh, didn't think it would be at Lake Victoria and Uganda. So I got 2,346 points. Tokis. So I found a calendar saying AC. So I spent all my time trying to figure out where the AC was. Yeah, that's Apparently what I was doing. Uganda. I found the same yeah. thing. Uh, interestingly enough, on this very same calendar, like where, where I'm frozen, like on my screen right now, I see the word Uganda. Oh, no. Oh, it's right on his shirt. Yeah. I didn't yeah, I see, see that. Uganda. I was, for like a, a solid 15 seconds, I was looking at the word Uganda, I kept on <laughs> Uganda, because by the going through the list of African countries, it started with A. It's not fair, 2274, hack team suicide. Not only that, it's A-C-U-G, and I focused on the A-C and not the U-G. And uh, I was looking everywhere, I'm like, A-C, what the hell is A-C? I still, air conditioning. I still don't know what that A-C is. <laughs> uh, unless it's something like um, academic something. It could be Maybe. like a... administrative center, academic center, uh, yeah, something like that. No, that that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, we I had another embarrassing day in, on GeoGuessr. I think. Let's see what our final Same scores here. are. Mine's terrible. Just bad. Seven thousand five hundred and six. How'd you do, Al? Not quite that bad. I got nine thousand sixty nine. Pasta. Thirteen thousand seven hundred ninety one. There you go. And Talkus. 
I did well on the first one, 9074. So you and Pasa just kind of flipped places between Wednesday and today. Pretty much, yes. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll take care of the maintenance in the basement over here. <laughs> All right. Well, special thanks to uh, Mr. Filmmaker for that uh, challenge. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you guys would like to make a challenge yourselves, go to geocenter.com. Submit it. Just make sure you know that we're a few months away from catching up on all those, but uh, we still wouldn't mind getting more. We can always use more. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.